First, let me take this moment to thank each and every one of you who are joining us online today. It means so much to our family to have this support system in place after the sudden passing of our beloved son, Joel. I'm not a person of many words, but at this point in time, it feels almost like there aren't enough words in the English language to describe how I feel or the impact our son had on those he met throughout his short 41 years. The day he was born and I held him in my arms, I knew he was very special and unique. From that very moment, the way he looked around, taking in all that was around him, I knew then he was a wonderful gift to us and to this world. He brought us so much joy in those early years. He was mischievous and always looking for new adventures. It was in the glint of his eyes when he couldn't figure out a problem and the sound of his laughter as it reverberated through our home and the shine of his smile whenever he arrived home. He was special. I know every parent feels that way about their children, but it's true, Joel was unique. As he matured and grew into a young man, his mind was brilliant. His passion for justice was admirable. His understanding of science and computer technology was ahead of his peers, and he was everything I wish I could have been at his age. I love him so very much, and to say this loss is unimaginable is simply an understatement, as losing him is the hardest thing I've ever dealt with, and I know the spot left behind by him is irreplaceable, and I will deal with that for the rest of my days. At the same time, my son was absolutely not the kind of person who would want his friends, his family, and his loved ones to stand by and let grief consume them. He would want his memory to be celebrated and honored through love, laughter, adventure, and a deep appreciation of everything our lives have to offer. In honor of my son, please hug your children a little tighter today, and please take a few minutes to appreciate what this planet has to offer. Most of all, be kind and loving to one another. In the hush of night, I speak your name, a whisper on the breeze, a candle's flame. My heart aches for the touch of your hand. In the depths of sorrow, I still understand. You left too soon, my cherished son. Our journey together, far from done, in memories you live, forever young, a symphony of love, our song unsung. Your laughter, like a melody, lingers on in the echoes of my heart. You're never gone. Your smile, a beacon in my darkest night, guiding me through the shadows of this fight. Though tears may fall and sorrow may weigh, I hold your spirit close, day by day, in the tapestry of life. Your thread remains, a love eternal, unbroken by earthly chains. You are my son, my pride, my joy, forever my beloved, my precious boy. In the quiet moments, I feel your presence near, a guardian angel, calming every fear. As seasons change and years drift away, your memory in my heart will forever stay. In my dreams, you'll always run and play. My dear son, I love you in every way. Though you rest in peace, beyond the veil, your love in my heart will never pale. Until the day we reunite, once more, in my heart, you'll forever soar. In the starry skies and the gentle breeze, in every moment that brings me to my knees, I find your love, your spirit, your grace, my precious son, in this eternal embrace. Joel Gordon Rebellato, the youngest son of parents Gordon and Maureen, was born in Surrey on November 23, 1981. He grew up with his older brother Jason, and the pair could often be found playing street hockey together, or tossing a baseball around in the park, 
and this enthusiasm for sports lasted into adulthood as Joel was a proud supporter of his favorite baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays. He also rooted for the San Francisco 49ers, after becoming a fan of their quarterback Joe Montana in the 80s. But of course, his first love was video games. Anyone who knew Joel, knew of his deep love of gaming. As a child, he spent countless hours playing Super Mario with his father and older brother Jason, and this love of computers and gaming ultimately developed into a lifelong passion. In fact, he devoured entertainment in all its forms. He enjoyed movies, and had a particular interest in gangster stories like The Godfather, Goodfellows, and Reservoir Dogs. But his taste wasn't limited by genre. One day, you might have found him watching one of his favorite science fiction movies like Star Wars, but the next, he might have wanted to sit down with a classic comedy like Trains, Planes, and Automobiles. And when it came to comedy, he found enjoyment in everything from 90s sitcoms like Seinfeld, Frasier, and Everybody Loves Raymond, to older favorites like Monty Python's Life of Brian, or The Search for the Holy Grail. Indeed, Joel was a fan of many classic comedians, including Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, Laurel and Hardy, and the Marx Brothers, and he loved history. From watching porn stars and American pickers, to poring over countless history documentaries, Joel had a boundless curiosity for the past. From the early 2000s, Joel enjoyed a successful career at Coast Appliances, beginning his tenure there as a salesperson, and eventually earning himself a position as a manager. During this time, he made many friends, and though most would agree that Joel always put on a rather gruff exterior at first, once you got to know him, he proved himself to be a kind, considerate, funny, charming, sincere, confident, and generous person who would be your loyal friend for life.
Joel, who suddenly passed away on January 18, 2023, is survived by his father Gordon and Janice, mother Maureen and Dave Wade, brother Jason, and sister-in-law Kira. We have lost a best friend, a brother, and son, and he will be forever in our hearts. recording ladies and gentlemen Joel Revelato about to do the unthinkable he's going underneath a sealed pool ladies and gentlemen a sealed pool oh my god how do you feel Joel that was weird and scary man. <laughs> I told you it would be oh, man shit. Woo! you're cool Fuck, you can't see anything. You get underneath, it's pitch black. You turn around, all you can see is this tiny little blurry, like, color of light. <laughs> Joel, this Good. pool, this top. To the heavens you will soar. Like an eagle, you will fly above the sky. Free from earthly bonds. Free from pain. Now you are only in my memory. I will not forget you my son. These memories of you, I will keep forevermore. If I should die and leave you here a while. Be not like others so undone, who keep long vigil by the silent dust. For my sake turn again to life and smile, nerving thy heart and trembling hand to do, something to comfort other hearts than thine. Complete these dear unfinished tasks of mine, and I perchance may therein comfort you. <laughs> 